In this video, I will show you how you can clean the WordPress database. As you use WordPress, you definitely installed and uninstalled too many plugins and themes, and almost all plugins and themes add one or more data tables to your PHP My Admin database. When you uninstalled these plugins and themes, it may look like that you have successfully deleted all the components of plugins and themes, but unfortunately too many orphan data tables are left inside your PHP My Admin database. Most of the plugins developers intentionally left the database table inside your PHP My Admin database, so that whenever you reinstall their plugin then they can easily restore the previous plugin settings, and this will improve their plugin's user experience. Unfortunately, Almost all plugin and theme developers don't show you any method of removing these orphan data tables. A few handfuls of developers like Yoast SEO show you the method of removing these orphan data tables. For cleaning these orphan data tables, we will be using a small plugin called Plugins Garbage Collector. The second type of database you need to clean such as revisions, spam comments, trashed comments, pingback and trackback, and other orphan data such as user metadata, comments metadata, post metadata, etc. For this purpose, we will be using the Advanced Database Cleaner plugin. Now, why do you need to clean your WordPress database in the first place? The reason is that these useless garbage databases will slow down your site speed. A fast site speed will result in a better user experience, while a slow site speed will result in a poor user experience. A user is typically staying on a site longer if the site speed is faster and they also convert better and bounce less. For those reasons, Google has made it a ranking factor. We will clean our database in exactly three short steps. Step 1. Database Backup Before doing anything, the best practice is that just take a backup, because if anything goes wrong, then you will be able to recover fully using backup. Don't worry. It is very few chances to go anything wrong, but it is a good practice to have a backup. Now to take a backup, just log into your PHP My Admin database. You can access your PHP My Admin database with the help of your hosting provider's cPanel. After login into your PHP My Admin database, just click on your website's database, then click on export. Here make sure that in the export method, quick is selected and in the format, it should be SQL, and then click on Go. Now here, take note of the database size which is 9.2 megabyte. Once we will finish the cleaning, then we will again take backup to compare the before and after cleaning database size to see the cleaning effectiveness. Now, let's proceed towards the second step which is required plugin installation. To do so, just go to the WordPress dashboard, then hover over the plugin tab, and then click on Add New. Now type Plugin Garbage Collector in the search field. Here you will get a small plugin by Vladimir. Just install and activate this plugin. Now again click on Add New, and then type Advanced Database Cleaner. Here you will get a small plugin by Younes JFR. Just install and activate this plugin too. Now we have completed our second step, let's proceed towards the third step, that is database cleanup. First, we are going to clean orphan database tables using the garbage collector plugin. To do so, just hover over the tools tab, then click on the database cleanup. Now here on this page, make sure that the search none WP tables option is selected and check the Show Hidden Tables option. Now click on the Scan Database button. Once you click, you may get an alert. Click on the OK to start the Orphan Tables scanning. After scanning you will get three categories of the tables with three different colors. The red means Orphan Tables, which are data tables from the deleted plugins. The blue means data tables from the installed but deactivated plugins. The green means data tables from the active plugins. We need to select and delete the red one, which is Orphan Data Tables. Here beware that once you click on the Delete Tables button, then your selected tables will get deleted permanently, so select all the red tables very carefully. However, 
If anything goes wrong, which is unlikely, then you can easily recover all the database files with the help of the backup you have earlier exported from the PHP My Admin database. Here be careful that don't check these checkboxes, otherwise, data tables will get hidden, so make sure to check these boxes one by one. Once all the orphan data tables get selected, just click on the Delete Tables button. Once you will click on the Delete Tables button, then again you will get an alert, just click on OK. Here green line means all the orphan data tables are deleted successfully. Now, let's clean the remaining garbage data using the Advanced Database Cleaner plugin. To do so, just click on the WPDB Cleaner option under the Tools tab. Now here you will get many tabs, such as General Cleanup, Tables, Options, and Cron Jobs. In the free version, you can perform only General Cleanup. If you purchase the premium version then you will get many amazing features such as automated and scheduled cleanups, scanning, and deletion of orphan tables, options, and cron jobs. In the professional version, you can also see which table, option, and cron job belong to which plugin. This plugin is all in one pack of useful features, so you don't require any additional plugins such as the garbage collector plugin to clean your WordPress database. The good thing about this plugin is that at a very reasonable one-time payment, you will get all the pro features with lifetime updates and support. The price you will pay is peanuts against the returns you will get out of it, as you know slow site speed will directly impact the Google ranking, visitors, and sales, and garbage data will slow your site speed, and this plugin is taking care of all the garbage data cleaning jobs of your website. To purchase this plugin, visit the link given in the description. Now, let's do the general cleanup. To do so, just click on the general cleanup and select whatever data you want to clean. And select clean from this drop down. And then click on the apply button. Once you click on the apply button, you will get a pop up to confirm. Just click on the continue button to confirm. Congratulations, you have successfully cleaned unwanted garbage data from your website. In the end, you can uninstall both plugins. Now let's take backup again to compare before and after cleanup data size. Here you can see, the backup data size is reduced from 9.2 megabytes to 4.4 megabytes, which is about a 50% reduction in the data size. Although my site is a small demo site, still significant reduction is there. When your website has hundreds of pages and years of age, then the difference becomes very significant and it will definitely increase the site speed. Here you can see, our website is also working fine. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get new video updates and make sure to check out the end screen video. Guys, what will be the topic of our next video, let me know in the comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time.